There exist over 30 million unique Minecraft accounts today. A very small selection of those accounts have extremely rare usernames or one-of-a-kind capes, personally given by Notch and other Minecraft developers to very special and lucky people. As such, these Minecraft accounts are worth tens of thousands of dollars. Because of their lucrative value, malicious but intelligent individuals have utilized various techniques and strategies to steal or hack these one-of-a-kind accounts with hopes of selling them for a big profit. Today I'll tell you the story of 5 extremely rare and one-of-a-kind Minecraft accounts that were stolen. The first story we'll talk about involves not only an extremely rare username, but also an extremely rare cape. Back in 2020, a Minecraft account with the username Joku Balakus, an account which has a translator cape, was purchased by a member of the OG users community known as Ironic. The OG users community is a community of individuals who try to buy or collect rare and unique Minecraft accounts and usernames. The translator cape is a cape which was given to roughly only 30 individuals that helped Mojang with game translations back in 2012. And I say was, because after some controversy related to individuals who owned or wanted to own one of these capes, Jeb stopped handing them out entirely, meaning they're extremely rare and valuable, worth about $10,000 alone. Anyways, the account was purchased, but its new owner had even greater aspirations for it. You see, while the account did have a very rare cape, its username was not at all interesting or valuable. However, if Ironic could change the account's username to something much rarer, this account would truly be one of a kind. Ironic planned to try to snipe the rare OG username Tokyo and put it on the account he purchased with the cape, and ultimately he would be successful. But unfortunately for him, it was around this time that Mojang became increasingly aware of individuals sniping and collecting rare Minecraft accounts and usernames, and oftentimes would lock accounts with specific usernames they knew were sought after if they believed it to have been sold or purchased, which is against their terms of service. Ironic was unlucky, and the Tokyo account with the cape was locked only a couple days later. He was able to recover the account though, and now he had an offer to sell the account to an individual for a substantial amount of Bitcoin. He played around with it for a bit until suddenly he could no longer log into the account. The details had been changed. To unlock the account in the first place, Ironic had to find and contact the original owner of the Joku Bilakas translator account and asked him to help recover it, giving the original owner the transaction ID. The original owner used the transaction ID to take back the account for himself, change the login details, and revert his username back to what it was before. Ironic had lost the account and the username Tokyo. Now, you might be confused. Why would the original owner steal the account back like that. Well, many of these accounts with rare usernames or rare capes aren't actually sold by their original owners. Many of these accounts are very old or have inactive owners, often with not great security, meaning they are ripe for the picking for hackers who either steal the account's login details by checking various database leaks or through social engineering methods. Joku Balakus happened to be one such individual who had his account stolen and sold to Ironic by the same person who stole it from him. When Minecraft accounts are stolen, normally the email tied to the account is hacked as well, meaning the original owner cannot access their original transaction ID and cannot recover the account. When Ironic gave Joku Bilakis the transaction ID, he was able to use it to recover his account, stealing it back. It's an unfortunate scenario where a mostly innocent third party was shafted due to the malicious behavior of another, but the original owner was well within his right to take the account back, which is where the situation remains today. Hilariously, the original owner removed the OG username, changing it back, meaning the account isn't worth nearly as much. If the translator cape account still had the name Tokyo, it would likely be worth roughly 30,000 US dollars today. Akron Man 1 was a Minecraft account purchased on January the 12th, 2011. By sheer luck, Akron Man 1 happened to be the one millionth person to purchase Minecraft, and as such was given a special one-of-a-kind millionth customer cape by Notch himself. Just like how I'm giving my 600,000 subscriber a very special one-of-a-kind Discord role and tag on my Minecraft server. It could be you, all you have to do is click subscribe. No pressure. Anyways, Akron Man 1 had a one of one cape, the only in existence, making it one of the rarest and most unique Minecraft accounts in the game, and obviously a very big target for hackers. The story of how this account was stolen is quite interesting. An anonymous user well versed in Minecraft account hacking would utilize a technique known as sim swapping to gain access to the account. The user found Akron Man 1's phone number through an email address tied to the account, which was leaked in a database breach. The phone number was a variety phone number and the hacker knew an individual who worked at Verizon and paid them $200 to give him the SIM card number, which was in Akron Man 1's phone. 
The hacker could now prove that he owned the phone Akron Man 1 did and called Verizon claiming he accidentally flushed his phone down the toilet and needed a new SIM card. He provided Akron Man 1's SIM card number as proof and switched his SIM to a new one he purchased and then once he had the phone number, the hacker could reset Akron Man's Gmail account, get the Akron Man 1 transaction ID and reset his Mojang account password, gaining access to the legendary account. Now this all happened back in 2017 and the account was sold not long after it was hacked for $2,000. Not long after it was sold, it was locked, to which it remains today. Akron Man 1 would be worth anywhere from 30 to 50 thousand US dollars today. Sometimes accounts are so valuable that they are stolen not once, not twice, but three times. But before I tell you that story, I need to give a massive shout out to Rick for giving me much of the information in this video. Be sure to check out his server Stray PvP, which released a new crystal PvP game mode called Sandbox where you can train specific mechanics and use custom plugins to train your PvP skills. More info in the description. Anyways, back in 2011, Notch gave video game music composer Danny B. Style, who made the music for various games such as Binding of Isaac and Super Meat Boy, a one-of-a-kind Minecraft cape, as he was a fan of his music. The cape is a one-of-one. One. There is no other like it in the game, making it exceedingly rare. Fun fact, there is also a yellow pixel at the bottom of the cape, likely as an error by Notch, which was never fixed. In 2015, Danny B Style's account details were caught in a database breach, which led to the account being hacked and sold for $300 to a player named Trey is a God, who can be seen using the account on Mindplex in this 8 year old video. However, not even a day after the account was hacked, the name change was reverted and the account was given back to Danny B Style by Mojang. The account would be hacked again in 2016 by a user named Fox, who bragged about the account in an old post on MC Market, evident in this video by Bad Machacho B, where it would then be locked again and given back to Danny after only a few hours. The account was then hacked for a third time in 2020, but according to an X in a Box video at the time, the user who hacked it named Shane had his email, which he transferred the Danny B Style account to, locked, meaning he could no longer access the account either. In early 2021, Shane managed to unlock his email and regained access to the Danny B Style account, to which it was sold to a player called Debug, who changed the name to this. While the account was not given back to Danny B Style for a third time and did not have its name change reverted, it was locked by Mojang not long after putting an end to the account's long history. The username Danny B Stole was sniped by someone else as well, so not only was his account with a one-of-a-kind cape stolen, but also his original Minecraft username as well. The Danny B Stole account with the cape would likely be worth around 30,000 US dollars if it could be sold today. Years ago now, a list of rare Minecraft usernames and their associated email addresses were leaked. Nobody knows how exactly the leaker got this information, you can watch this video here where I talk about it more, but all we know was that it was leaked. One such account which had its email address leaked was the account God, one of the coolest usernames in all of Minecraft. Using this leaked email address, a hacker was able to gain information on the owner of the God account's real name, address, phone number and more. From this he discovered the email address used for the Minecraft account was under under a Comcast account. So he called Comcast, pretending to work for a different Comcast branch, and in a meeting with the owner of the God account, mentioning he couldn't access information about his account as their software was down. The hacker would ask the Comcast branch to look up the account for him, giving them the email he knew. He then hung up and called Comcast back, now pretending to be the owner of the God account, and got them to add a security question to the account for him. With this information, the hacker could then password reset the email account, and thus gain access to the God account. This all happened happened back in 2017 and the God account was promptly sold for $4,000 and was locked soon after as the original owner had reported it as stolen to Mojang. The account would likely be worth in the tens of thousands today. Back in 2015, a player named Billy K would make a post to the Minecraft subreddit suggesting that Mojang should add turtles to the game, giving various details about how they should work. In 2018, not long before the 1.13 update would release containing turtles, Jeb would make a post to the Minecraft subreddit announcing that he had given Billy K a special one-of-a-kind turtle Minecraft cape as thanks for his turtle idea. Once again, another priceless one-of-one -one Minecraft cape. The account was stolen by a sim swapper only a few months ago, to the great displeasure of Billy K. The account, like the other one-of-a-kind cape accounts in this video, is valued at minimum $30,000. The story didn't end there though, as Billy K wanted his account back at all costs, and luckily for him, he had contact with a Mojang employee that would help him out with that. If you want the full story, you can watch Jeeper Trooper's detailed video on it here. And that about wraps it up, be sure to subscribe, thank you all so much for watching.